Hello everyone, Tony here. I'm going to do a uh, really quick unboxing for you guys. I got a few things in with this uh, coronavirus stuff. I ended up accidentally essentially buying an entire wet shaving setup. So I uh, just wanted to go through all this stuff while I have it here in brand new shape. So first off, I've got a brush that I just absolutely thought was beautiful from Craving Shaving. And this actually is going to be my first um, handmade brush. Everything else that I own is uh, production. And I'm on the, I am on the Wolf Whiskers books, but I'm still a ways out. I'm still probably uh, a month out from being able to uh, officially place and pay for that order. Even with all this uh, stuff coming out from coronavirus, they ended up, uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to jump off lists and things like that that they signed up beforehand. <coughs> but I was looking around and I looked at uh, the uh, Etsy store for trading shaving and I saw this. I couldn't believe that this one was left behind. So. This is, I can't remember what he called it, but to me it just looked really um, kind of out of this world. I, I imagine like a nebula. And uh, from this angle, I thought it looked like an eyeball. So that was really cool. And this has got the Crave Knot on it because I don't know anybody else selling this one. So I was really. I wanted to make it unique to his style and uh, or to what he offers there. I wanted to make it definitely something that was uh, all his own so I could appreciate that. So that is this guy. And I'll probably end up using that tomorrow. I don't typically like, I like more of a fan knot, so I... Um, this has a little bit of kind of a hybrid, so I was really excited about that as well. So next up, I've got a razor. Thing. And this is a charcoal goods level two. But this one has the, uh, the reason I was excited for this one is um, the stinger handle is no longer available. Um, they are just, he's not going to be making those anymore. Uh, Brian Twilly, the owner of uh, Charcoal Goods has uh, decided he's gonna be uh, moving his shop and uh, reconfiguring some of the things in his business. So all of these handles like this and the Magnum, they are not available anymore. He's not gonna be doing any more runs of them. Uh, what he has in stock on the website right now is the last of it. And I have been wanting one of these for a long time, so. This is now the sad thing is I tried and tried and tried to just buy this handle from somebody. Nobody was willing to let it go. So I ended up having to buy a second level two from somebody and uh, who was willing to part with theirs. So now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. So I already have. So this is my second level two and I don't think I need doubles. But this is, the level two is, all the charcoal goods razors are my very favorites. The, uh, the level two is a little more mild than I uh, prefer, but it's so smooth. I can just run through it real fast, run through the shave, and everything's going to be flawless. I'm never going to have to think about it at all. Um, 
but my favorite really is the level three. Um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, the level two gets the most use because I like shaving every day and sometimes I need a break from a level three. So, and then we have <clears throat> some software. So this is a Murphy and McNeil order. And I actually, I bought a mystery box from a friend of mine in uh, one of the Facebook groups. And in that, there were two Murphy and McNeil soaps. And I thought they were fantastic. One of them, I really liked the scent, but it was uh, um, kind of soft. The other one was more firm, but I wasn't as big a fan of the scent. And this um, happens to be my wife's favorite um, kind of budget um, cologne scent. And this is a dupe for that. This also, um, a portion of the proceeds of this particular soap go to, I'm going to make a mess here. Go to um, the family of... Our, I really don't want to mess this name up, but I believe it's Robert Tarantino Jr., an officer who was killed in the line of duty. Um, and this was put together as a collaboration between Rudd's Shaves and Murphy and McNeil. And um, and this is Garda Shiokana. So this will be the splash. So Garda Shiokana. And then I additionally got the um, aftershave balm. Uh, I'm a big fan of the balms and I like the, uh, uh, this is no alcohol, no menthol. Because I don't like the idea of putting alcohol on my face. I never have. It's not been a. Uh, <clears throat> it's not something I recently stopped doing. I never have been a fan of doing that. So, and here we go. So, now this one here. Their standard um, Ion Aon Firm is the texture here. So this is, um, sometimes you'll hear people talk about these as uh, some of their soaps as Cropes. This is same exact consistency as any PAA or um, Zingari Man or anything like that. So this is one of the more firm style um, soaps that you can completely normal. This is, uh, I think, what is this? This is tallow based, and I think there's duck fat in here as well. Um, yes. So you can see the label if you want to pause and look at it. And then this one is the Kodiak formulation. So it's the same exact scent. You can see the uh, shield, which is present on all of these. And the, the scent profile here is supposed to be um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Home, Pour Home, and, uh, which is, if left to her own devices, it's the only clone that my wife will ever buy and bring home for me. So this is a three ounce container of the Kodiak tallow. And I am super excited about this because when, uh, I believe it's called Nanta, Nantahela came out, that was uh, the first major release of uh, the Kodiak um, formulation. And that uh, everybody that I've heard who's had that said it was the best thing that they've ever used. So that's everything. 
I am very excited to give some of this stuff a spin very soon. The brush will probably get used first because I'm trying to go through a couple of soaps right now and just get them. I got a sample halfway done. I'm trying to get all used up. So that's everything. Thanks very much, guys.